parents find it really hard to wake their child up and make them do their routine in times especially in the morning even some of us adults have to deal with the same lethargic feelings in the mornings as well however for some children this state of reduced alertness will last quite longer and affect their functional level of performance okay i know you are confused by the term alertness Alertness is nothing but being vigilant, attentive, or being just aware about the surroundings. Do you know which senses actually contribute to alertness? It is proprioception. Yes, it works amazingly well with alertness. So now your doubt will be: What is proprioception? Apart from the five senses, it is a sixth sense which helps us let us perceive. the location movement and action of the body parts it also help in providing a sense of body awareness and also detects and controls the force and pressure it also act as an alerting input for the children who needs to facilitate attention and learning so how can we use this proprioceptive input in child's daily routine to improve their alertness So I can share you some activities that can be easily practiced at home by parents. The way we sleep at night has a huge impact on how we begin our next day. This applies to both children and adults. Thus, your child must have a good sleep routine in order to be alert after waking up in the morning. Parents must set a reasonable time for your child to sleep and should be constant and practiced every day. Children seems to perform pretty well when they have a schedule set for sleep time. For some children, this can be through a visually debited schedule that is more comfortable and predictable and this also help the child to be prepared for the upcoming activities. A good sleep routine will help to teach the child to relax calm down and to get ready for the sleep activities that are proven to be relaxing for your child must be included in your child's bedtime routine and this vary from one child to another but it is necessary to find out what suits your child the best some of the activities that can be used as a part of your child's bedtime routine includes bedtime stories saying goodbyes and good night to your family members and even to your child's favorite toys giving hugs and kisses to your family members wrapping your child in a blanket and rocking them having a cup of water or a warm milk listening to a calming music and so on you can be as creative as you can but Remember that you have to practice these activities regularly. Environmental factors matters. While waking up in the morning, the surroundings can refresh your child's day. How? Start with adequate lighting. Either direct sunlight by opening the window or curtains or even switching on the lights in the rooms. And then give a tight hug to your child. it is a best proprioceptive input as the deep pressure can improve alertness in the beginning of the day and also try to give a cup of water or milk to your child which also help in improving alertness as we all know physical activities will make everyone energetic that is the activities that provides vestibular and proprioceptive input so i have already talked about proprioceptive sense so now what is vestibular sense it is the seventh sense that collects information critical in controlling movements and reflexes that helps to move the body parts in compensation with the changes in the body position so if you make the child do the activities that are more vestibular and proprioceptive it will make them alert so some of the physical activities include bouncing on the therapy or gym ball which is very easy to practice at home and this can be done in various positions like sitting lying on the back or even lying on the tummy which provides both vestibular and proprioceptive input and thus will help in improving your child's alertness second one will be jumping on the trampoline 
I know most of the houses may not have a trampoline, but a jumping on the bed or the couch also works. Animal walking will provide an amazing amount of proprioceptive input to your child. There are different types of animal walking like crab walking, elephant walking, bear walking and frog jumping and so on. And you can also make your child to do commando crawling and wheelbarrow walking as well. There are other activities like stair climbing and simple exercises like jumping jacks, jogging, yoga can also be practiced. This will also help in improving your child's alertness. You may wonder how grooming, especially in the morning, will help in improving alertness in your child. But trust me, it will. Brushing your child's teeth will provide a certain amount of proprioceptive input and if it's a vibrating brush, well and good. Similarly, washing your child's face with a soap and Wiping it with a textured cloth also helps in improving alertness as it gives amount of proprioceptive input. And facilitating these activities with the help of a mirror will provide a sense of awareness. This also contributes to your child's alertness. Thus, I do hope this video was helpful for every parent who are struggling to improve their child's alertness level in the mornings. And please do try out the activities that I've suggested. And if you have any doubts, feel free to contact the Occupational Therapy Department at Prayatna. We are there to help you out. Thank you and have a nice day.